YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a pack and prank with me because I'm going to be flying on a plane for the first time alone. <laughs> and like the worst part is I haven't been on a plane since I was like seven or something and I can like barely remember anything. So this whole concept almost feels very new to me and I'm very nervous but basically for the people who don't know this is my sister's first year studying or like going to college or university whatever you want to call it and yeah i'm gonna go visit her for a week in Stellenbosch. i'm very excited very nervous for the plane but very excited to be there oh and i'm also gonna go visit my long distance best friend that i literally have not seen in a year so yeah i'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along while i pack prepare i have some shopping to do obviously i need to stop packing i need to do some self-care so i thought i'd bring you guys along okay so today's monday the 27th of may and today we're going to be doing a little bit of shopping basically i only leave on like saturday i think but my mom and i just kind of want to get the shopping out of the way now so first of all i need like a jean and then maybe a couple of sweaters and then i also need to look for a backpack that's not too urgent though like if i just need to take my handbag on the plane that's fine it's just like i literally do not have a nice backpack so i kind of need one. Oh, and then there's also a book that i quickly need to buy so yeah i'll see you guys in the car Okay, hey guys. So I'm not really sure what the time is, but we just come back from the mall. I think this was probably like one of the most successful shopping trips we've ever had. We literally found every single thing that we were looking for. I quickly want to do like a mini little haul. So the first place we went to was Barn and Books, which is like a bookshop. Because as you guys might know, I've been in kind of like a bad reading slump recently, and I've been kind of getting back into thrillers now since it's like a fall season in South Africa. So. So I ended up buying these two books. So first we have The Silent Patience. This is like apparently about a woman that like unalives her husband <laughs> and then she doesn't speak for like 15 years or something like that. I'm not really like 100% sure what it's about, but I heard a lot of people saying that if you liked Verity by Colleen Hoover, you'll like this. And um, Verity is like one of my favorite books. So I decided to get this. And then I also got Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Basically, I've been wanting to read a Riley Sager book for a while now. Apparently like this is one of the most hated thriller books of all time <laughs> purely because people think the main character makes like a bunch of dumb decisions but i don't know something about the setting of this book just sounds really enjoyable right now and also i feel like if i'm going into the book knowing that the character is going to make dumb decisions it's going to be maybe more enjoyable i don't know okay and then next we went to factory i only got one thing which is the sweater it's this like cute little crop sweater so you have to like wear like this tank top underneath or something but guys this is so so cute and it's so soft as well okay and then after that we went to typer for a backpack and literally i turned my head into the shop and i immediately saw this one and fell in love with it it's like a white and a pink checkered print and it has this like cute little bag in the front and then inside it looks like that there's also like a little laptop pouch over here which is really nice so yeah i think i'm gonna take this bag with me on the plane so that i can put like my book my laptop and like anything else i might need oh then we also got this like cute little tote bag for my sister okay and then after that we went to h&m i believe the first thing i got was this sweater guys i'm so happy i've been wanting a sweater like this for so long now because it's like very similar to that one that rory wears in the first episode of gilmore girls it's not like obviously nearly as long as that one but i feel like the print or not the print the design is very similar and yeah this is really really thick and warm so i feel like this would be perfect for Stellenbosch. okay and then the last thing i got is this black jean because like i was in desperate need of another jean because i only have three and the one like kind of doesn't fit anymore and then the other one is really really thin so it's not very warm so i really needed another one and my black one doesn't fit me anymore so i decided to get a black one it's very similar to the one i'm wearing now except it's not like i wouldn't say it's like lower waisted but it's not like high waisted like this one it's very comfortable it fits perfectly which is like such a big problem for me because i'm like fairly tall so for pants to go all the way to my ankles is like what <laughs> okay and that is it for my little haul i'm very very happy with everything i got but yeah i'll see you guys later this week okay so today is friday the 31st of may guys how is it almost already june like i turned 16 in two months 
That's crazy. Okay, but next on my to-do list is to start packing. I think first I want to start with packing my clothes and then my toiletries. And then after that, I'll move on to my carry-on. Okay, so earlier today, I just kind of made a list on my notion of everything that I want to pack. Just to kind of like plan it out a little bit better. Because if I just start packing off the top of my head, I would forget half of what I actually need. Okay, but first things first, this is the suitcase that I'm bringing. <laughs> Thank you to my grandma for lending this to me. Basically, I do have like a suitcase that is very similar to this one. It's just like a little bit too small to add like all of these very thick clothes and then also my toiletry bag. But yeah, as I said, it's very similar to the one I already have. On the front, it has like two different pockets where you can put stuff. I usually put like shoes or socks or something in here. Oh. <laughs> My grandma like kind of forgot a couple of stuff in here but then we obviously also just have like where you put the clothes and then up here there's like another sleeve where you can put stuff where my grandma clearly forgot a couple of stuff. Before I start packing I'm just quickly gonna go through all my clothes and show you what I'm taking. I can't remember if I actually mentioned this but Salenbosch is already known to be really cold but while I'm there it is going to be like extra cold. Okay so first of all I think I'm gonna start with all my pants. Okay so first of all we got my jeans. First I'm just taking this blue one it's high waisted and then I wouldn't necessarily call it baggy but it's one of those where it's like kind of wide everywhere okay and then next i just got the pair of jeans that i bought earlier this week they're also like kind of the same wide fit but except these aren't high-waisted and then i'm also taking these these are kind of like a bootleg fit and then they're also low-waisted okay moving on to like sweaters hoodies jackets t-shirts any like upper body wear okay so first we have my white zipper billy eilish hoodie it literally just like says billy eilish with a picture of her and then the back just white first we have my favorite nirvana sweater unfortunately this one does have like a teeny tiny hole but thankfully it's not too noticeable. First, I'm just kind of taking this rainbow one that I bought earlier this week and then also the Rory Gilmore one that I bought earlier this week. This one is actually like so perfect for this trip because it is so incredibly warm. <laughs> and then I have this one which is like a dark blue and then a green. Okay, moving on to long sleeves and then t-shirts. Okay, so first I'm taking this one which is like a blue, black, white, orange and pink. And then I'm just taking like this basic black one and then a basic gray one. Okay, then for t-shirts, first I'm taking my Olivia Rodriguez go oversized t-shirt once again i don't know how much i'll actually be able to wear this since it's going to be like really cold and then i'm also taking this like light blue billy eilish one this one is like specifically to wear to bed like i rarely ever even wear this one during the day okay and then i have my gray coco Cobain t-shirt and then i'm also taking this black t-shirt i don't know if you can really see it but it has like one of those square necklines i have a white one as well i feel like you can see it better now you've probably seen this on my channel before i wear these really often oh and then i'm taking this white tank top i'm also taking this black tank top and these jean shorts <laughs> okay next is P PJs. As you saw, I'm already taking like two oversized t-shirts as like possible pajama shirts. But then I also just have this long sleeve one. It's just like gray and it has like a couple of flowers on it. And then for pants, I'm taking these gray shorts. Don't know if I'll actually wear them since it's going to be really cold. I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. And then I also have these like classic kind of checkered pajama pants. Okay, next is shoes. I literally only own like two pairs of shoes <laughs> okay but first i just have these like white running shoes as you guys will probably know i will not be working out while i'm there but as i said i only own two pairs of shoes so i just kind of want to have a backup in case something else happens with my other pair and also these are so incredibly comfortable so i feel like these are ideal for when we're going out for most of the day walking around because most of the time we probably won't be driving just because everything is kind of in walking distance and then i obviously just have a bunch of socks and then i'm also taking these like little fingerless gloves to keep my hands warm and then obviously i'm taking like undergarments and stuff oh my gosh i kind of forgot two things because they were kind of behind me but i'm also taking a pair of ski pants fun fact i actually hate ski pants with a passion this is mainly for like under another pair of pants because as i said it's gonna be really really cold and i don't know if my jeans are actually gonna be warm enough so i feel like just having that extra layer is a good idea oh and then i'm also just taking what do you even call these oh my gosh i keep forgetting about a bunch of this stuff because they're like kind of hidden behind this whole like pile of clothes but first we just kind of have like all the books that i plan on taking i'm not sure yet if i'm going to be packing this in my actual suitcase or in my carry-on i'll have to see how much space is actually left in my suitcase but first we just have the two books that i bought earlier this week and then we also have the fourth book in the shatami series i started reading this back in like february i think and i just kind of took a break from the series because i was getting kind of bored of it and i do not think i'll be reading all three of these books on the trip this is just to kind of like give myself a couple of options but yeah i'm still kind of deciding which one i want to take on the plane because like 
Ugh, I don't know. Then I'm also taking these like little drink sachets for me and my sister. This one is like an instant white hot chocolate and then this one is a chai latte. And then I'm just taking this cute little tote bag for my sister. Like, look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, but as of right now, I think that's everything that goes in my suitcase. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much finished packing. As you can see, my toiletry bag's also here, but like, like there's barely anything in there. Just because like I'm gonna use most of my toiletry products still. And I just put like my shampoo and conditioner in there so that my toiletry bag doesn't get too squished so I know there's still space. But yeah, mostly everything everything fits like all my clothes my books the sachets and then the shoes are in here okay moving on to my carry-on but this backpack i'm taking is one i got earlier this week i just put this cute little like <laughs> keychain on it that's like kind of fluffy at some point i'll definitely get like a different keychain i just felt like putting something cute on it but first in this little front pouch i have like all my essentials i guess this is stuff i plan on like permanently leaving in my backpack and not just like for the trip just in general so first we just have my little wallets then i have a little bag with all of my coins because this one doesn't hold coins. Then I have like this little mini toiletry bag with like pads, tampons, you know, the girly stuff. And then I just have a little bit of lip balm and a claw clip. Oh, and while I'm like actually like traveling and stuff, I'll probably be putting my passport in here as well. Just because I feel like if I put it in like the main area, it's going to be harder to find it when I need it. Okay, so next is my laptop. First of all, I'm going to be doing like a little bit of work while I'm there. And then I also have to put like footage from my camera onto my laptop because my SD card only has like 32 gigabytes, which is not a lot. So, and there is like a little safety pouch in this backpack for laptops but just be safe i'm also gonna put it in this laptop bag it's just this friends and i'll put it in there Oh my gosh, it like barely fits with the bag. <laughs> okay, and then after that, I'm obviously gonna be taking my camera, my tripod. I have this like little bag just to keep my camera safe when I put it in a bag. I believe in here, I also have like, yeah, I have like a couple of extra SD cards. And then in this little bag, I'm gonna put my hard drive where this is just where I put all my footage. Then I'm also just taking my adapter. I'm taking a pair of headphones that actually fit into my laptop. Also guys, I've been learning how to crochet and I crocheted this like little piece of string. It's not really anything. Just to, like tap my headphones and I think it's so cute. And then I'm also just gonna kind of put this into this like little pouch with my laptop next i also have like my laptop and my phone charger but but i think i might actually try to fit this into my suitcase just because i feel like i probably won't need it on the plane and i'd rather put it in my suitcase where i know it's safe rather than having it in my backpack and having like possible chance of it like falling out or something so yeah i think i'm just gonna try and fit that in my suitcase oh another thing that i kind of forgot is my headphones but like these are specifically the ones that fit into my phone and i think i'm also just gonna put them like in this little pouch then i just have my book i ended up deciding on this one because i don't know it just seemed the most appealing right now i was also decide i'm gonna put my little like fingerless gloves in here just in case like i get there and i get really cold oh and then obviously my phone okay that is it for my carry-on or at least i hope it is <laughs> i haven't been on a plane since i was like eight so i'm not like sure if i have everything that i'm gonna need but i really hope so but yeah tomorrow morning before i leave i'll like go through my suitcase and my bag check i have everything i need okay i'm officially done <laughs> okay so next i'm going to be taking an everything shower i like doing this specifically before really long trips because i don't know it just feels really nice feel really fresh and clean before you go on a long trip so i quickly want to show you guys all the products that i would usually use okay so for these first i would usually put on a face mask but i kind of forgot about that until like five minutes ago <laughs> so i don't have one with me right now but usually i would first use a face mask and then for in the actual shower i go in with the lb moisture boosting shampoo and moisture locking conditioner this by far is like the best shampoo and conditioner i've ever used because like personally i have like a really oily scalp and then really dry ends and this just works so well like it moisturizes my hair properly but it doesn't leave it looking really oily okay and the next is body wash i'm currently using the fennel body wash this isn't like the body wash that i use all the time just because it's on a little bit of the pricier side of body washes so this is like more once a year treats but like it smells so good <laughs> okay and then next i have to shave usually i would use my body wash to shave but since it is like a slightly pricier body wash i'm just gonna use like shaving cream i don't know what shaving cream i use i think it's like hello where is it okay i'll find it but basically i'm just gonna use some shaving cream and then afterwards i go in with the sorbet firming body scrub and then for skincare i use the cerebe blemish control cleanser and yeah that's about it also i don't know if you guys noticed but i painted my nails <laughs> usually i like doing this before i go on like long trips and like i just didn't film it because i did it at home i didn't go to a salon and i feel like that was kind of boring so okay but while i'm in the shower i'm going to listen to cats by Oliver rodrigo but basically today i was like watching some of my old videos from back in like september and october and i felt like really nostalgic and it made me in the mood for this album so so yeah, I'm gonna listen to Guts while I take myself a shower. <sighs> okay, so I'm in bed. I actually finished my shower like 
couple of hours ago <laughs> basically after that i just went to the front of the house had dinner with my family and then after that my mom and i watched your more girls but now i am in my bed with my little squishmallow <laughs> but the last thing i'm going to be doing tonight is getting my stuff done obviously i try to do these things as soon as possible when i know i'm going on a trip but like when there's stuff that needs to get done before i go that hasn't been done like you know now would be a good time to do it so that'll usually be like either editing finalizing plans but like weirdly enough tonight i don't really have anything that i urgently need to do before we leave like i did as much packing as i possibly could the rest of the stuff that's still in my room is stuff that i'm gonna use tomorrow morning so i am basically like ready for tomorrow oh my gosh and i never showed you guys but this is like what i plan on wearing tomorrow to the airport first of all i just decided on these great pair of sweatpants and then i'm gonna wear this shirt that i showed you guys earlier with like the square neckline and then my mom's black puffer jacket thank you to my mom for lending this week. Oh, and then obviously just my bands. So yeah, that is the outfit that I plan on wearing tomorrow. Okay, but I'm going to get comfy in my bed to kind of wind down for the night. Also, oh my gosh, I really tried to film this clip, I think like 10 minutes ago or something, and then someone called me and let me just show you the clip. Hello? Hello. Who is this? Oh, okay. Thank you. This person literally just said wrong number and I was like, okay, thank you so yeah that's kind of embarrassing <laughs> okay but i think this is where i'm going to end today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe stay tuned for the stan bosch vlog there might be two i don't know yet if you stayed all the way to the end comment the plain emoji so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video